Okay, sorry about that. The other video uh, pushed the off button on, on uh, accident. So uh, again, just uh, looking at these different lights, these are a WS2811, I believe, and it'll be in the description as well um, down below. So I've plugged it in um, down here below. It's plugged in, and um, it was very simple. <laughs> again, I was very, very iffy about even buying these because I was uh, worried it'd be too complicated, and I didn't want to start splicing wires and having to solder things. Um, when I don't really have the knowledge and then I didn't want to waste the money on buying these um, if I couldn't make them work because um, pretty much you have to buy them on the on the internet I don't have any stores uh, at least in my area where I can just go up and purchase these pixel lights again these are pixel lights that are individually addressable um, but this controller is kind of a simple controller and allows you to do some features with it it's, uh, it's limited to a point, but um, again, if you're just wanting it to use it to uh, change colors and to have a good set of LED lights for your tree or for your outside, um, these come with enough features. Like if you're not trying to make uh, happy faces and candy, cane, candy canes out of matrixes and things like that, these are again, really pretty good. Um, I was talking a little earlier in the, in the first video about uh, each end having a, a, a wire that you can plug into. Um, so this first end has the um, the power cord and the data it looks like and the ground already hooked into it. This is an IR sensor for this remote and it works like this. This is the power supply again it went with a 12 volt power supply because just after a lot of research on you know what's probably the best to use if I want to expand and be uh, more in the future then that's what this one was. Um, you can you can add more strings and uh, controllers and things like that with these two wires on both ends. And let's just go ahead and plug these in. We'll give it a, a good shot. Uh, again, here I am with one hand. <laughs> okay. So it powers up, and um, I hear this all the time on YouTube about these lights um, not really showing up as well um, on a video as they really are in person, and I can attest to that. I can really attest to these lights are vivid, they are, um, they're bright, and they are, for lack of a better word, they're a beautiful light. They really are. You really can't get a sense um, with the camera how, how, how nice they really are. So um, the controller, again, pretty basic, has, has quite a few functions. You can, uh, you can determine how many sets you have or how many lights you have on one string uh, using this IC set. Um, it comes with the instructions that come with that little controller. And um, you can change colors pretty easy. It has two different kinds of whites or two different uh, shades of white. Um, it has many functions that you can go through um, overall. Very, very, very happy with them. Um, and to be honest, um, if I went to Walmart and I did um, to try to find this type of functionality with LED lights, it was more expensive um, to buy like the GE, um, the GE lights or anything like that. These lights were uh, a lot less expensive. Um, I'll do another video later to show you them on the tree itself. Um, but again, you have different colors, different color patterns. Um, just with this simple remote, um, if you're not trying to do something really fancy, like build a matrix or anything like that. But these lights do have the capability of doing it. So anyway, if you have any comments or any questions, um, again, I'm just a novice. I uh, don't have a lot of electrical um, experience. I do want to learn more, um, get through it, and uh, learn how to program these to make them do other things. Um, but uh, for now... These are, are pretty cool and I'm really happy with them. Again, uh, let me know if you have any questions.